can't help but laugh. Fearful Meghan and Harry dropping Spotify deal is unable to deliver anything. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have reportedly started to reconsider their multi-million dollar deal with Spotify following their misinformation scandal with Joe Rogan. Royal commentator Neil Sean made this claim during his interview with YouTube. He explained, Harry and Meghan are having a rethink about where they're going with their individual podcasts and their programming. We know that they were a bit upset about the Spotify association with the comedian podcaster Joe Rogan. But could the picture be in there looking for a brand new deal? It will be difficult to leave Spotify right now because they haven't really delivered anything. He also added, but moving forward there's always the bigger deals on the table and for Harry and Meghan, they do look at Michelle and Barack Obama as a template for them. The sort of people they would like to follow in the footsteps. They see them being a very successful brand that's admired around the world. This could be the route Harry and Meghan want to go down. They really do look at them for inspiration and ideas. Meanwhile, the royal couple were spotted turning into the TV veteran Ms. Winfrey's Monatico property last week, followed by a convoy of cars and a security detail. Richard Palmer, the Daily Express royal correspondent, speaking on the Royal Roundup, claimed that Harry and Meghan made a number of claims during their first interview with Oprah Winfrey that were factually incorrect. Amid speculation over the prospect of a second interview, Mr. Palmer warned the Sussexes that it would be a mistake and could risk further damaging their relationship with their family. Speaking to Royal Roundup host Pandora Forsyth, Mr. Palmer said, It is very hard to get to the bottom of what is going on with that couple. There's all this talk about a fly-on-the-wall documentary series. I don't think they have actually really confirmed that. They have certainly categorically denied it earlier. I suppose you could ask, a bit like politicians, whether it was a non-denial denial. They simply said they were not doing a reality TV show. I would say a fly-on-the-wall series is a reality TV series. After discussing a Royal Roundup poll in which more than 80% of respondents said the Duke and Duchess and Sussex should not do another Oprah Winfrey interview, Mr. Palmer added his own scathing insight. He said, well, the last one was such a disaster, wasn't it? I mean, really, for their relationship with their family. It was bad news for the monarch and it was bad news for them, as well. There were things that they said that were just not factually correct. They did not get married three days before their official wedding. The Archbishop of Canterbury made that point very plainly, and there were various other things as well. Meghan and Harry were spotted last week visiting Oprah Winfrey late on Saturday afternoon, sparking rumors that they may be about to hold another interview. In pictures obtained by Mail Online, the couple were pictured turning into Ms. Winfrey's 70-acre property in Montecito, California followed by a convoy of cars, including a Range Rover carrying personal security. Prince Harry was seen driving the lead car alongside the couple's friend, actress Janina Gavonka, with Ms. Markle sat in the back seat. The Sussexes live just five minutes from Ms. Winfrey's home in Montecito, having moved there from the UK. GB News host Nigel Farage earlier this week slammed the possibility of a second interview, suggesting that it would leave the royal couple looking vindictive and money-grubbing. Speaking to Sky News Australia anchor Paul Murray, he claimed that a rumoured second interview could be underway after the couple were spotted at Ms Winfrey's house. But, Mr Farage said if another bombshell interview was on the way and was intended to derail the royal family, they won't succeed. The former Brexit party leader said, in cricketing terms, the Queen has got the best forward and backward defence you've ever seen, she never gives her wicket away.